writing task is to write a letter requesting continued care for Mr. Gerald Baker who just underwent total hip replacement surgery secondary to osteoarthritis. Now he is being discharged from the hospital from your ward and you are writing this letter to the senior nurse Ms. Samantha Bruin at Greywalls Nursing Home. Let us look into the case note first. If we look into the case note in detail, we can see there are two dates given, that is the admission date and the discharge date. Here the admission date is irrelevant and not to be mentioned in the letter, but you have to mention the discharge date in the introduction paragraph of the letter. The date of the letter will be today's calendar date, unless today's date is not specifically given in the case note because it is essential to know where the service should be provided. The name of the patient that is Mr. Gerald Baker is given in the case note with his personal details. There are a few information regarding his medical history and medications and before we start writing this letter we have to look to whom we are writing this letter. It says that you are writing to Ms. Samantha Bruin who is a senior nurse at the Greywalls Nursing Home. So after discharge Mr. Baker will be moved to this nursing home. Mr. Gerald Baker had been living in this nursing home for the last four years. From this information, we can understand that this patient has come from the same place for total hip replacement surgery and he is going back. Here, the patient details are already known to these people so we can directly omit few details from the case notes such as social backgrounds, medical history, etc. Therefore, all the information provided in the social history can be omitted and need not mention in the letter because all this information are already familiar with this recipient. Here the important information to be included in the letter are the treatment this patient has received during the hospital stay and the service or the treatment he is supposed to get after his discharge. In addition to the continued care he is supposed to get from the nursing home, he must have some post-operative care too. Hence, we must focus more on the post-operative care while framing the letter. Due to these reasons, all the points mentioned in the discharge plan are very important because it says about the service he is supposed to receive after his discharge. Taking all these points, we have to prepare a letter in an organized manner. Now, let us see how we can write a letter with the help of a sample letter written by a candidate from India. Here, the address, date and salutation are properly written. Here, the writer has used the current date. Then reference RE colon Mr. Baker aged 79 years. Here we don't have to write aged 79 years instead we can simply say 79 years. Moving to the introduction paragraph, I am writing this letter to request Mr. Gerald Baker back into your facility for ongoing care and support. He will be discharged today. To be frank, this introduction is an utter failure in terms of few things such as it says writing this letter to request Mr. Gerald Baker. Here you are not requesting to Mr. Gerald Baker and it misses the condition of Mr. Gerald Baker, the discharge date and the treatment he underwent. Reader doesn't get any idea why this letter is being written and the better way to write the introduction paragraph is like. I am writing in regards to your resident Mr. Gerald Baker who is progressing after total hip replacement surgery and will be discharged back into your care on 7th September 2018. This paragraph has all the required information such as the name of the patient, condition of the patient, purpose of the letter and the discharge date. Moving to the second paragraph, Mr. Baker underwent total hip replacement surgery. He received daily dressing on surgical wound and aspirin for pain management along with medication for hypertension. His hemoglobin dropped post-operatively and was transfused with 3 units packed red blood cells and requires continuous monitoring of anemia. This information provided are up to the standard but there is a still but there is still a bit more room to make it impressive. In the third sentence we can see that there are two and connecting three sentences which is not advised. So we alter the sentence like his post-operative anemia was corrected with the transfusion of three units of packed RBC and requires continuous monitoring of anemia which is precise and concise. Coming to the last part of the paragraph, he can walk a length of ward with the support of weight bearing wheelie walker without a difficult and was provided occupational therapy to optimal mobility. He was disoriented due to aesthetic. Here the last sentence is not up to the mark and aesthetic should be replaced with anesthesia which is the real reason for his disorientation. 
instead of writing it as a single sentence we can connect it with the previous sentence and by adding despite being now it reads was provided occupational therapy to optimal mobility despite being disoriented due to anesthetic effect coming to the second last paragraph upon discharge mr gerald requires daily dressing and monitor his medication intake please encourage him to continue stretching and strengthening exercises hospital has provided walker wedge pillow and toilet tracer from local medical supplier here the writer has used the first name of the patient which is wrong and instead should have used mr baker the last sentence deserves a better place and can be written as a last paragraph because upon discharge means when the patient must get after his discharge and the things that are mentioned in the last sentence have already been provided to the patient so this is extra information which can be made into separate paragraph apart from that the last part of the sentence doesn't deliver the complete meaning that this hospital has arranged toilet racer for 2 weeks from a local medical supplier this information is very vital and you have to mention it the last paragraph says please note that the staples are to be removed after 2 weeks on 21st september 2019 and follow up full blood examination and urea creatinine test is to be conducted this piece of information actually comes with the second last paragraph and you can make a separate paragraph mentioning the equipments required coming to the wind up sentence you have to mention the name of the patient along with the sentence that it becomes please contact me with any queries regarding mr baker the sign of yours sincerely which is wrong because the writer used you instead of yours it should be yours sincerely charged nurse which is correctly written so that's all about the letter thank you new method for oet learning how are you preparing online or offline for speaking and writing you can get tutor reviews how will you be able to manage your reading and listening how can you manage your self practice easier than never before learn oet in merlin's way most successful oet learning method from world's best online trainer chat now mentormerlinexam.com